101 kg. And in my head, I'm like, <laughs> how to live life. Hello. Hello, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. So as you can tell by today's title, <laughs> one of our most anticipated videos, how I made a life transformation uh -huh. or health transformation. Um, so before we begin the video, I do want to just give a warning. We will be very, very honest. We'll talk about weight and numbers and medication and different things so if you are not you know want to hear those kinds of things it's kind of be triggering then maybe not to watch this video <laughs> i should say in the beginning um everybody's body is different yes and what might work for me might not work for you might not work for them and or may work or not for her my methodology mm. doesn't work Oh, yes. So mm -hmm. we are kind of the opposite, opposite. too. That's right. Yes, we're very opposite. And um, I am a strong believer that weight loss, weight gain, and body type is a lot of genetics. Mm -hmm. And some people, they're just their genetics are to be on the heavier side. Mm -hmm. And that's not necessarily bad. doesn't mean they're not, they're not fit. They're not unhealthy. Now, I think there's a line that you can... It is a fine line that people often can cross and then, you know, they still claim they are very healthy, but probably not. And that comes from a person whose mother was clinically obese, and I'm talking obese. She was, I don't even know her weight, 400, 500 pounds. Her whole life, she was always a hefty woman, but eventually her weight did, was the reason why she did pass away because of her weight it caused many other factors mm -hmm. and my own whole life she moved she was a single mom did everything but eventually out of nowhere didn't even see it coming she just had all these health problems and just boom so i think that's why i think there's a very fine line you could think you're very healthy in your weight but there could be a lot of hidden underlying problems that you don't know mm -hmm. and so it's always best to just try to be as healthy as possible within mm -hmm. your weight goal, mm -hmm. within your weight range. So I think everyone should also take that into account when they're trying to go through a life changing journey. Mm -hmm. And number one, you should never compare yourself to other people because everyone is different. Mm -hmm. Like everybody, everyone's body is different. You'll never look like this person across the street who's very skinny because you're not that person mm -hmm. and you don't have their body type. And also I want to say that we love all body types. Yeah. Like. I will say when I was my heaviest, I, I didn't not like myself. I, I was very comfortable with myself. I think now I do like how I look a lot now better than before, but I wouldn't say that before I didn't like how I looked. I was very comfortable with how I looked and I thought I was beautiful and I still think I'm beautiful. And I think you should find beauty from within yourself and not just through a mirror. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get started. Because my journey was not short. It was actually quite long, <laughs> if you think long. about it. Yeah, so I'm going to try to be very concise as possible. And maybe if I need to make a follow-up video, I will. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I don't want it to be too long and like bore you guys out. But I just want to preference that we normally don't drink soda. Mm -hmm. Naturally, we, don't, we aren't soda drinkers. We aren't coffee drinkers. We're not alcohol drinkers. And we're not snackers. Mm -hmm. We don't do snacks. Yeah. We don't do really sweet things. I mean, occasionally here and there, our eating was actually not that bad. Mm -hmm. Comparative. It was pretty good. Yeah, compared to just our regular day without focusing on what we're eating, just eating normally, we don't eat that bad. Mm -hmm. So just to preference that, that, that is our starting point. Yes. Um, but to start, so going back to our pre-journey, I think that was our pre-journey, was mm -hmm. like 2001. Me and Min, Min and I actually wanted to be like really like fit and healthy. Well, Min is always fit and healthy. So we, I made like these books and we, it had like different like exercising goals and like health goals, like drinking water, 
um, just regular like life goals, mm -hmm. like everyday goals, and we had to check it off. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the week, we tallied it up, and if we didn't complete a check, then we had to like give money to the other person. Yeah. Remember doing that? Yes. Yeah, we did that for like three months. And for me, I really worked really hard. Like some of my goals are really, really hard. Like I calorie counted, I exercised every day. Like I did some like pretty intense, like at home, like hit workouts. Like it was pretty crazy. And I would say within those three months, something's changed. Like, you know, I started to drink a lot more water, even though we generally drink water. Mm -hmm. Um, but I did not see like a drastic change in my weight mm. for the amount of effort I was putting yeah. in. So I guess you could say that was like the start of our journey in a sense. <laughs> um, that was in 2021 around August, uh, August, September-ish time. This could be a method that can work for people. Mm. For me, it didn't work. I felt like it didn't work. It, I did, it did work, but not as much as I felt was expecting for the effort I put in. Mm -hmm. Men obviously worked very well. Yeah, but... But after like three months, we kind of slowly died down and then we just stopped. And then we just kind of forgot about it because it just continued our normal day life. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't until 2022, maybe February or March, we went to mom's house and it was just a regular weekend. We Sometimes we just randomly go to mom's mm -hmm. and mom has a scale. And we have a scale too, but we never used it really. Yeah. We never like even looked at it. But mom has one that was quite prominent like there. So just one day I, that week I just stepped on it and I saw 101 kg. And in my head, I'm like, <laughs> I broke 100 kg. That's not, that's not good. Like it should never be about the numbers, but I just knew like I always... In my head, I was floating around the 80 kgs. But when I stepped on it, I was like, okay, something got to change. So I really like tried to think like, okay, what can I do? I calorie counted so hardcore last the year before and it didn't, I didn't like it. I think it didn't build a good like relationship with food. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want that. Like I am not a strong believer of diets. I've seen every diet in the world be performed by my mom. Literally every single diet you can name, my mom took part in. And I just did not, I don't, I'm not a fan of diets. I think you should change your whole lifestyle of eating. I think diets are fads, diets are short lived, and then you can just go back to your ways. You should change your ways so there's nothing to go back from. That's just how you are from the future from like then on so I really thought I'm like okay I don't want to diet I don't like dieting what can I do so I decided okay I obviously need to move I could always move more movement mm -hmm. even though I'm a teacher I move a lot I can always move more so I started my journey in May I bought an Apple watch to track my movement and I followed my movement very closely and I tried to complete all of my rings and I will tell everyone my ring goals a little bit later on. But that was the beginning of my journey. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go too in depth with everything because in this video will just be too long. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I started this weight loss medicine called Fentanyl and it's supposed to help suppress your appetite. Did it suppress my appetite? Yes. Um, but I would say I worked very, very hard mentally in making sure that while I was taking it, um, I was, eating right which as i said we typically already already ate pretty decently um and i'm not a fan of diets so i pretty much just ate normally i just made sure i didn't overeat i had a strong habit of continuing to eat food if it's delicious regardless if i feel food feel full or if i only have a little bit left and i feel full i will eat it um, so while I was taking this medicine, I made sure that I did not continue to eat. Once I felt full, I stopped eating. That was like a really big thing. Um, originally I was just going to take it for one month, but after the one month, I took a two weeks break. I didn't have any bounce back. As they say, that can be a very strong thing. In those two weeks of me stopping, I pretty much maintained. 
so I decided to take it for one more month because I was very confident in myself and not being reliant on the medicine but it was very helpful and I think it also helped me shrink my stomach size mm -hmm. in the time and I think it really helped me build my mental strength as well so I ended up taking it for another month so a total of two months so I started it around May 25th and then obviously I took it for two months the first month I lost five kgs which is about 11 pounds and then the second month I lost another five kgs 11 pounds I do believe um, that I lost a lot quite fast because I changed the way I was moving um, I didn't really do any exercising I'm not an exercise kind of person I did not join a gym at this time I just moved and make sure I completed my rings on my Apple watch um, but I did movement that I enjoyed I don't like hit cardio I don't like running I don't like any of that so I walked a lot I started walking home from work I just did as much movement as I could that I enjoyed that I didn't hate <laughs> But yeah, I think I lost a lot because I did a big kind of change. I moved a lot and I watched what I ate, like how much I ate, which mm -hmm. I think that was my problem, mm -hmm. was me overeating, not necessarily what I was eating. Do you think you walked a little bit faster than normal? Oh, than a normal person? Yes. Yes, I think I do. I walked a lot. Like at one, some points I walked up to two hours mm -hmm. from, my, from my job to home. But after those two months, I was really worried about bouncing back. As they say, that's such a big thing that can happen when you take these weight loss drugs. There are a bunch of different weight loss drugs. I'm not advocating anybody to take it. This is just what I did. Um, definitely do your research beforehand and know all of the different side effects. I had no side effects when I took it. I was very lucky, but there could be some side effects. Um, so after that, I was really worried. So I was like, okay, I don't want to bounce back. What can I do? So I did some research and they was a weight loss clinic in a neighboring city, which I heard like a lot of good reviews from. So I went there and I signed up. I signed up for this program that was like a 30 week program and very long and complex program short. It was very expensive. It was like 1.7 million won, which is like 1500 and i don't think it was worth it they gave me like injections like ivs and fat burning shots and electromagnetic stuff and i feel it was all gimmicky mm. i don't think it did anything so it was 30 weeks i did not even finish the program <laughs> i started the program and i was 91.8 i started the program around august 17th and i stopped it December 17th so I did it for like four months and you go every week and every week you do something a little bit different through that four months I ended up losing another 10 kg so another 22 pounds which I think was a very steady weight loss mm -hmm. right in the beginning it was quite rapidly but I think this was a very steady and healthy weight loss mm -hmm. you know I felt like the reason I lost weight during the program is due to the fact that every week I had to go and weigh in and I had to report to the doctor and just the kind of person I am I am not a fan of hearing like negative comments or people questioning me or not I guess performing up to the ability that someone thinks I sh am able to so I was like very stressed every time I would about to go there so I would make sure I worked very 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 hard I watched what I ate I moved a lot once again, did not join the gym, did not do any kind of like crazy exercise routines, did not count any calories, didn't do any diets. I ate what I liked. I just ate in moderation and I moved. Mm -hmm. And every week I weighed in. During the program, they told me like what I should be, be careful of eating. Mm -hmm. I generally never eat breakfast. Not because I want to do fasting or something, something. It's just my life, how I live and my schedule. I just don't eat breakfast. I don't have time. Occasionally, maybe I'll get like a bar or something, but I just don't eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. So I ended at 81.55. So I will go ahead and tell you a little bit about my movement goals. So starting in May, when I first got my watch, my 
movement goals, so my calories, was 960. And then my exercise time was 40 minutes. And then my standing was 12 hours. Standing, I never had a problem with. I always reached my standing goal because I'm a teacher and that's what I do. But on the weekends, it was quite hard. Sometimes when I'm just lounging around, I realize, oh, I got to get up and move. And I really saw how much I didn't move on the weekends <laughs> compared to my normal weekdays. Um, I also had a side goal, which was like 10,000 steps a day, but I almost always max that regardless. And especially because I started to walk, I never really like checked to see. Um, but yeah, I changed my, I raised my goals on June 6th, so roughly about a month. Um, I moved my move goal to 1,050, mm -hmm. and then my exercise stayed at 40. And then in August, which is when I started the weight loss clinic program, I changed my move goals to 1,250. And then my exercise was 90 minutes. And I worked very, very, very hard to reach my rings. Like, especially starting in August, all the way until April of this year, I never missed my rings. I wanted to do one year. And I was so close. I was like, I want to do one whole year of never missing my rings. And I was like, and I did the most. And I think it was like maybe a couple of days I kind of cheated by having men wear my watch because I had like my hairline surgery yeah. and there was no way. So I had men wear because I couldn't complete my stand goals. And so there was like a, a I would say here and there, but I, some points when we went on vacation and we had to fly, I made sure I did the utmost in the morning. Like I completed my rings. Like that was my life. But one day I saw, I was just like checking. One day I realized I missed a day, randomly. Yes. And I was I like, it. I didn't even realize it. And then since when I after I saw that, I was like, my streak is over. <laughs> so I kind of gave up. I didn't really give up, but I kind of gave up. I just stopped because then my goal to have like a one year streak was broken, and I was like, well. And I would say by then, which was April of this year, I way passed the my number goal. And so my kind of mindset changed of where I wanted to be. So now I'm going to slowly transition to where, what I am doing now and what I just finished doing. So I ended, I ended the weight loss program in December and I was 81.5 kg, which is about 180 pounds. And starting in January, I started a PT program, which is personal training. Because uh -huh. since the beginning of my weight loss pro journey, I didn't join any gym. I started PT on January 9th, and I did 30 sessions twice a week. So I ended May 19th. I started, obviously, at 81.5, which is really good because I ended the program in december like 17th or something and we went to japan and i didn't follow it i just you know did my thing i continued to keep track of my rings because you know i kept track of it till april i did all my rings but i ate normal didn't watch what i ate and i stayed my weight i didn't bounce back mm -hmm. i didn't bounce back from the fintman i didn't bounce back from the gimme key clinic so I think majority of it was because I worked hard, not from the externness. Cause I think if you rely on the outside things, then you bounce back very easy. Yeah. But I didn't bounce back. I was exactly the weight I was from the last time I weighed in at the hospital a month, a month ago. So I was 81.5. When December came around in January, it's winter time. So I stopped walking, which is the reason why I started PT. I couldn't do my everyday walks from my work um which was a lot of walking so i picked up personal training now coupled with personal training i was like okay i want to keep on the momentum i wanted to do something more with my eating and making sure i kept the same mentality so i really liked that when i took fentanyl i focused really hard mentally mm -hmm. so i wanted something else like that but i didn't want fentanyl again so I searched for like more traditional route. Like, so I 
looked at a Korean medical doctor and they have also like these teas that you can drink and I went to the doctor to just um, learn about it right and I it's supposed to give you like the same effect like lower your appetite kind of thing so I went there to learn about it and long story short I am someone who cannot say no well I don't like negative conflict I, I'm just I got swindled I went there to be curious and I walked out buying a three month supply of a three day drink three teas every day program and I was like I the minute I came home I even told men I was like I got swindled I didn't, I didn't I didn't want the tea but I somehow agreed to getting this tea and yeah so I bought this herbal tea that's supposed to help suppress your appetite and you're supposed to drink it 30 minutes before breakfast lunch and dinner I don't even eat breakfast so what so, anyways um long story short I never drink the tea three times a day I drank it maximum two times because I don't even eat breakfast most of the time I only drink it one time now if you guys do some math three month supply drink this tea three times every day that's a lot of tea so I did not drink the tea every time and the length of time I had the tea actually was a lot longer because I didn't drink it three times in the end I still have this tea and I bought this tea January 17th <laughs> and I still have my last box I still have and I it's about like 30 plus packets I'm I'm not a fan I don't recommend it um, do I think it worked maybe slightly it tasted horrible and as it went on when the tape when the dose got stronger really really tasted bad so the drink though one I have now the last one tastes so bad even me thinking about it makes me want to be sick it is gross it is terrible and it makes me not want to eat after I drink it because it's so bad like I don't recommend it whatever not at all but from January until now I was 81 I lost another 10 kgs in a span of six months yeah. and I think that is a very healthy progression of weight loss and this was purely me because I think that tea did nothing yeah so um and then that's where I am now I still have the tea I'm just trying to finish it because I paid for it but I don't I don't like it and I don't recommend it my PT stopped so I have not been to the gym but I do want to be healthy and continue going the healthy route I'm very proud of how far I came so now I am currently 71 kg that's where I've been at and since May until now which is now almost July I have not bounced back I have not changed I haven't gone to the gym um, I haven't really tracked my rings I eat what I want I still I think I have built a habit in my mind to know what to eat and what not to eat mm -hmm. um, these days I really really love chicken breast and I eat a lot of chicken breast just because I love it and I really like eggs I eat a lot of eggs so I'm just lucky that that's what I like to eat mm -hmm. but at at school I try not to eat as much rice that's the first one thing I try to cut back on and joining the different clinics like the medical doctor and the weight loss one the Korean doctor and the weight loss one they did tell me some foods to avoid and some of the foods I had no idea that I should avoid like number one of all ones is like corn and that's in like everything in Korea and I don't really love corn so in my head I'm like oh then I should just not eat it because it's not benefiting me at all so I just got realized some things that I should kind of not eat as much like fruit love fruit but fruit is very sugary not good for weight loss at all so that is what I did as far as eating as I said I drink water naturally I bought a big thing of water it looks like this I'll show you guys this and for the most part I finish one every day I take this from the beginning I fill it up at my work and I try to finish it by the time I get home and that's where I'm at now I have not bounced back and I stayed and I think this is my ideal weight now I just want to be stay healthy and probably just get stronger 
and B, you know, make my body more fit mm-hmm. versus losing more weight. So I think, like just to sum up, I think the medicine, the fentanyl, mm-hmm. I think, yeah, if someone really wants to like, try, yeah, you need a lot of research. And in the beginning, it, I think it really helped. I agree. I think it was a good boost. It yeah. was a good catalyst to start. And I think it gives you a, a boost of confidence as well. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. I think after that, you just need to find what's, what you can constantly do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that is the most important. I agree. Yeah, yeah they're exercise hard. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, it's painful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think you just need to find something you like to do at yes. least. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So this video isn't just all about me. <laughs> Min went on a journey for of himself. So okay, if I was I would say like just get rid of the my sick time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So normally I was at like sixty six kg. Mm-hmm. That's my always like almost ten years. Mm-hmm. I was always there. I was come back like I lose weight. I'll come back six six. By gaining a little bit of weight, I will always, I'll always come back. So I start from there, six mm-hmm. six kg. Mm-hmm. I hate the number now. <laughs> 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 Maybe someone know I used to do judo mm-hmm. or jujitsu. I work out. I worked. I enjoy working out. So mm-hmm. I worked out really a lot. Like sometimes five days or six days a week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think I didn't really watch. What I ate mm. at the time, mm-hmm. I just ate. I don't think I ate breakfast. Mm. Right. No, you didn't either. Maybe if I eat, I just ate like some whipped drink. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So one day she told me I should watch what I ate. I thought I ate a lot, but yeah, she thought it wasn't enough. Mm. So yeah, because I... he worked out so much. There's no way he ate enough. <laughs> no yes. way. So I download this app. Um, that was like five months ago. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, think. what is your goal, or what was your goal? So, and what was my goal was the main goal was to gain muscle. Mm. I wanted to be <laughs> ideally mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. eighty kg mm-hmm. because um, there is this Olympic judo player I like. And he changed recently. He is doing CrossFit, mm. and his weight was eighty kg. And I think he's almost same height as mine. So I wanted to be like him, like strong. Mm-hmm. So I started my journey. Mm-hmm. Um, so you started tracking your calories. Yeah, I tracked my calorie, and that's where I started CrossFit. And, and do you still track your calories? No. <laughs> How long did you track your calories? I got tracked like two three months i think so first day i tracked my calorie was not really good <laughs> so i had to be like three thousand mm-hmm, calories mm-hmm. but what i ate was like two thousand something mm. like two thousand hundred mm-hmm. so it was quite shocking for me mm. yeah so i started more mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i i ordered potatoes <laughs> the eggs Peanut butter, mm-hmm. sweet potato. Mm-hmm. Healthy fa- healthy food that can help you gain weight. Yes, kinds yes. of things. So I ate breakfast every morning, like three eggs, two potatoes. Mm-hmm. For lunch, I just make sure I ate protein mm-hmm. and some carbs. Mm-hmm. And between dinner and lunch, I also ate the same thing, <laughs> same as breakfast, I mm-hmm. think. Mm-hmm. And then the dinner <laughs> and went to gym. After the day, I also drank protein. And even after that, when I couldn't reach the calories, I ate other things. Mm. Yeah, I would keep doing that mm. for two months. Mm. And I think I gained in two months, I think I gained like three kg. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot. Yeah. And like for men, like as you said, he stayed at 66 for so long. And that is like his body did not want to break. 66. Uh-huh. Even when I was in military, yeah. I will I was 70 kg, but I think it's more it was more fat. Mm-hmm. I tried to bulk up, but I just ate a lot, a lot. Mm. It wasn't muscle, it was just fat. Mm. But this time was P 
purely muscle. And then that's where you are now? No. Right now, I am 72 kg.、Mm. I'm still doing the thing CrossFit, and it really helps me、mm. a lot, I think, the、mm. exercise itself. Right now, I try to gain more weight, and so I don't think it's enough to, to eat just eat potatoes.、Mm-hmm. I've started eating rice because more, rice has more calories. So, right now, I eat breakfast, like rice with eggs, and lunch is same, dinner,、mm-hmm. same. I don't eat between lunch and dinner right now.、Mm. And after exercise, yeah, I ate the same chicken breast and some rice and eggs. And that's where we are now? Yeah, that's where we are now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys our in bodies. There's these machines that measure your like, fat percentage and so forth and so on. So we started weighing ourselves. I haven't done in body in some time since I don't、mm-hmm. go. To PT anymore or anything, but this is my latest in body. As you can see, I went from being obese.、Um, this was the highest I was when I started using the in body weighing machine. Obviously, I was a lot more,、um, but when I first used an in body machine, this was my starting goal. And then this is what I am now. I'm now classified in the athletic range. <laughs> And then this was men. As you can see on the screen, min starting point 66 kg. <laughs> and now muscle is up and his fat is down. He pretty much, which is really good and very hard to do. So, for people who want to gain weight or gain muscle, muscle.、Mm-hmm. like who is a lot like my bad type, I think you shouldn't eat、um, big amount. At one time,、mm. you should eat more often mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. smaller amount. Yeah, it's very important for、yeah. us,、mm-hmm. I think. Oh, I will say, um, long, long, long time ago, side note is when I did track my calories. I don't like tracking calories, I think it can lead to an unhealthy relationship with food, but I do recommend that you should at least do it for at least two weeks. Just track what you eat. just Generally, don't try to modify it, just track it so you know how much you are actually eating, and you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised one little thing is like 500 calories, <laughs> or、mm-hmm. something like so big that you would think is a lot is actually not a lot.、Mm-hmm. And then you become more aware. aware of different food that you're eating, and you just roughly can calculate in your head.、Mm-hmm. Um, I do think that is a really good thing. So、yes. I did count my calories for like three months. So, I have a really good general idea of how much calories I'm taking. And occasionally, if I want a snack, if I want to eat a bag of chips with my sandwich, I'll actually look. I'm like, okay, this one's like 200, this one's like 125. I like them both. I'll just get the 125 one. <laughs> so, I do do that occasionally, but I don't like put it in an app or anything or anything、mm-hmm. like that. And it, like, Min doesn't do it anymore either.、Mm-hmm. That is it.、Um, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions for me or men, you can comment down below. We would love to answer them. Maybe do a part two or not. And we thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>